here today with my wax empties for the previous week. If you'll remember, our theme was Luck of the Irish or Happy St. Patrick's Day. I was calling it Green Week, whatever you want to call it. That was what we were going with our theme for the Two C's collab that I'm involved with. I'll put the information down below if you want to check out the other channels that are participating. I have a list of some of them that are participating and we're doing a round robin together. So it's really, really exciting. It's a great group of wax YouTubers and I'm just so excited to be a part of the group. So, all right, so I had a lot more green wax than I thought I did. <laughs> when I first initially saw the prompt, I was like, oh, I don't think I have a lot of green wax. I ended up having quite a bit. So we had a pretty good week of melting. There were a couple of things you know, always happens sometimes that we're a little bit of a dud, but it happens. And so we learn and we move on. All right. So let's talk about what I got through this week. I have my empty bin over here. I'll be throwing them in there. Anything that I think I might want to reorder, I'll just set to the side. I'm keeping a list. I've been trying to update the list. I have a few more things to add. I need to do that today, but yeah. So I'm trying to keep a list so that I remember what scents I really, really like and want to keep ordering. All right, so these were in the bedroom. This is Rainbow Melts Juicy Pears and Fizzy Pop. This was in a sampler that I got from her. I'm not a huge fan of pear. This wasn't bad, but it wasn't very strong. And you guys know I melted in my bedroom, and so typically scents do pretty well in there because it's a smaller room, and a lot of times it gets the door gets shut at night because of our cat. So yeah, this one didn't perform super well, so I wouldn't get it again because of both of those reasons. We had Rose Girl Summer Snow Cone Margaritas, Blue Raspberry Mango Lemonade Paradise and Margarita in one of the chunk muffins. I actually really did like this. I would get this again. I'd probably melt this in my living room, so I'd get two, hopefully not in muffins. <laughs> Which if you guys saw my basket for this week that we're working on right now, it is Tetris week. And I put a lot of the Rose Girls mini muffins in there. They are so hard to store. So I'm hoping this gets poured in the mini melter bags. I like those a lot better. But yeah, I would totally get this, and get this one again. I'll set it aside just to add it to my list. This came in from Mel from Canada from Wax Snob, Frozen Margaritas, Lemon and Lime Margarita. I really did like this. This was good. I highly recommend picking this up if you're in Canada or can get your hands on this. I don't know if she is on Etsy or where, but definitely check this out. It was a good scent. We had, oh, this is a favorite of mine. Don't even have to add it to the list. I just know this one, Dr. Finkelstein's Lab. It's a frosty, fizzy, bubbly, cherries, blonde moment, and Mountain Dew. I will buy this in all the things. I love it in a scoop so I can mix it in to amp up the fizzy and my fizzy scents. So yeah, this is great. Pick this up if you like fizzy. There is a slight cherry note, but it doesn't dominate it. I don't feel like, I feel like you really get the fizzy in the Mountain Dew. That's really the main things that I get. All right, speaking of Mountain Dew, I melted one from Beezy's. I have quite a few of these little cups from him. And I basically, because I have a larger warmer in my bedroom, I normally cut these in half and maybe mix in a little bit of a scoop to change the fragrance a little bit. So yeah, I will always purchase this from him as long as he has it available. So the last two here were kind of the bummers of the week. I don't know if there's any more we'll see as we keep going through. But I know for sure that these were bummers and I, I was really sad. So this is a Glitterati, <laughs> which really made me sad. It's Lime Cherry Twist. Did this in my bedroom and I could barely smell it. I don't know if my warmers are too hot. They're 20 watt hot plates. Sorry, I had to take a phone call. So the angle might be a little bit different. I try, but you just, you know, you know how that goes. So let me know in the comment section down below if your Glitterati wax needs a lower wattage warmer because unfortunately this did not work and I had something else that I melted and it wasn't super strong and this this is from June so I'm kind of bummed out I really want <laughs> I really wanted to do well for me so yeah all right and then this was a zape banana rama it's banana pineapple coconut water and fizzy soda I couldn't smell this at all it basically just smelled like the wax and I told you guys that at the time when I pulled the basket it was very very light I couldn't really smell much. So I don't know if the scent dissipated. I think I got this last summer. So this unfortunately was a bummer. Most of her fizzy scents though in that sampler did really well for me. So this just was a miss for that one. 
Okay, so continuing on in the bathroom, it's hard for me to get through a lot of bathroom <laughs> wax because I have one little warmer, but I made progress on some other scents that I've been working on and I finished up a couple. This is Scentsy Jet Set Go. It was a Bring Back My Bar. I think I got a couple of these and it's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like a fruity, floral, aquatic, I don't know. Not really my type of scent, but James really liked it. Actually, I had him sniff through some scents that weren't 100% my favorite because he's always saying, oh, I need more wax. I need a different variety, <laughs> especially for his bathroom. So he sniffed through it and actually he took another bar of this. So that's great. And he will enjoy it more than me and use it up. So this one was kind of interesting. This is Sens Sensational's Bahama Beaches. They've discontinued it for now, but I think I saw it come out. It was something for the Valentine's Day collection. It was a totally different name, which was kind of strange. I didn't pick up any more because I had three clamshells of this and I figured that was fine. You know, they might bring it back and rename it. This smells really, really good. It smelled like a shampoo to me, like a really nice shampoo or body wash, but it only lasted for a couple of hours. So I'm not really sure what happened with this because I feel like I warmed it before and it was longer lasting. So I'm not sure. It's not, a, I think it's the same warmer. I don't know, because my one of my warmers did die. So maybe that was the difference and this is hotter. I'm not sure, but I have a couple more of these. So it's kind of like a shampoo slash laundry to my nose. And it's nice in the bathroom. So yeah, we'll enjoy it there. But it was weird. It didn't last as long as I remembered it lasting. And then we have K's. I ordered a custom just in a single oil because I love this. Barbershop 1920s. I do have another bag of this. So I was glad... <laughs> It's going to take me like three years to get through this. I've learned I only need one bag, especially if it's a bathroom scent or maybe a couple of clamshells if it's a single oil. So yeah, I love this. It's super strong. It's just such a great scent. I love the shaving cream type of oil. So yeah, highly recommend getting this from Kay's. But for me, going forward, I'll probably get some clamshells of it since now she offers them in clamshells. All right, so... I know I have more coffee, but they have a couple of these like scent shot cups. So I thought I would talk about these. Just seemed appropriate. We melted leprechaun from the melted mousse, orange caramel cake, and ice, Irish cream coffee. I like this one. I don't know if I'll get it in customs. I do really like it. I think to me, it's a very creamy coffee with the orange cake. And you know, one of my favorite blends is from L3. It's a blend that I had put together for customs last year, hot orange Danish and coffee bean. And I think I like that better than this one. This is similar. So if you can get your hands on that, on this one, I would try it if you like a creamier type of coffee, not as strong lamb in your face coffee as I do. <laughs> okay, so I melted another wax knob that Mel sent me from Canada, strawberry pound cake, which was strawberry, vanilla frosting, and vanilla cake. This was really, really nice. I love strawberry pound cake, and yeah, this was fabulous. Highly recommend them again. I finished up a loaf from the pharmacist's daughter, Lemon drop, which was lemon curd, lemon sugar, marshmallow fluff, and sugar waffle cone. This was poured last January in 21, so I really wanted to make sure that I used this up. It was nice, but I feel like the strength was fading a little bit from what I remembered last year. It was so strong when we first melted it, so I don't know the longevity of their wax formula, but this is one of their strongest scents, and I feel like it was dissipating, so I really wanted to make sure that I used it up, but great lemon scent if you're looking for lemon bakery. Okay, so I used this one up as well from the pharmacist daughter, jelly donut, morning beignet, and strawberry white cake. This was nice, but it's not particularly strong. I've talked about this before. I really struggle with the pharmacist daughter in my house, and I don't know if it's, it could be a lot of factors. You guys know, and I say this all the time, and it could be, you know, my warmer dishes being super hot, or, you know, just the airflow in my house. I have high ceilings and an open floor plan. So I just recommend, and I've said this before, I recommend any vendor that you try out in your home first with a smaller order. So just do a small order, stick to a budget. It's hard. I know we all fall down the wax rabbit hole, don't we? <laughs> but just try it in your warmers and see because what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So I don't want to steer you wrong by saying it didn't work for me because, you know, I want everybody to try 
all the things, all the wax. So there's that one. You know how it goes. We all want to try the, all the wax. All right, this is Rose Girls Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Donut Holes and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. I picked this out of last collab, and this was amazing. I loved this so much. And I know some people say Rose Girls doesn't work for them. I never have a problem with Rose Girls in my house. Are some scents lighter? Yes, and it's interesting doing a lot of Rose Girls this week because of all the mini mutton thins, so I feel like I have a really good feel for those. I was kind of concerned that maybe those for whatever reason, didn't make any sense to me, might have lighter throw, but I have one going right now. <laughs> it's blasting my socks off, so I don't know. Who knows, but this is such a nice pumpkin pecan waffles. Very, very strong. I would get this in larger quantities. I'm setting this one aside. And then because it wasn't enough, it was a smaller piece, I melted these in alternating warmers. It was different is beautiful, so they were little hearts that the pharmacist's daughter did for pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, vanilla buttercream, and birthday cake. Is this for autism? It might have been. So I grabbed several of these. This was a really, really nice scent. So yeah, highly recommend that one. I also picked this out of the collab from Rainbow Melts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie dough, cookies and cream, and sweet cream. I really did like this. This was very, very good. I would get this in a larger size, but you guys know I love chocolate and wax. Chocolate chip cookie dough, too. doesn't always smell the greatest on cold, I will say. So if you have purchased it and you're sniffing it on cold and you're like, eh, I don't know, give it a try. If you hate it, you can always take it out of the warmers. But yeah, I highly recommend trying a chocolate chip cookie dough scent. We had the Pharmacist Daughter Fruity Blast, Rainbow Sherbert, Cotton Candy, Sugar Cookies, and Fruity Pebbles. They do cereal scents really, really well. Those work for me in my home. This was great. I really liked it. I felt like it was Rainbow Sherbert and the cereal Fruity Pebbles. Really, really good scent. I recommend that one. And a couple of these I have, I'm trying to use up these samplers <laughs> from a Sassy Girl because I can't remember when I purchased these, but I've had them for a while. And so... You know, the time has come to use them up. <laughs> so this is A Star is Born, Blueberry, Green Apple, Cotton Candy, and Whipped Cream. This one was surprising because most of the time her wax is just amazing for me. And this was on the lighter side, and I'm not really sure why. I don't know. But this one was not one that I would probably pick up. And I'm kind of glad because there's so many scents that I would. But this was not a favorite. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't as strong as her wax normally is. So I probably wouldn't get this one again. We have Britta's Twice as Twisted. I've purchased quite a bit of this over <laughs> my wax purchasing days. This is Fruit Loops, Tea and Cakes, Cotton Candy Frosting. Yeah, if you love tea and cakes along with a cereal scent or you think you might like it, I would pick this one up. She does this so well. It's so good. You get both of those things. Cotton Candy Frosting probably just smooths it out a little bit, makes it a little bit sweeter. It's a very, very nice scent. I highly recommend getting this. I don't need to set it aside because... That one I know. <laughs> All right, we had open water from Sassy Girl, raspberry lime, salty sea air, sweet lavender, and cotton candy marshmallow. I basically got the salty sea air and some of the raspberry lime. I don't get any of the lavender, and that always scares me in blends. This was nice, but again, a lot of her blends are super strong, mainly her Beach Night blends and, and her bakery super strong for me. This wasn't as strong either. So I don't know if I would pick up this blend either, but that's okay. Cause like I said, there are so many blends. I sit there with my list and I'm like, this is good. This is good. This is good. And then I'm trying to narrow it down. So yeah, I got to narrow it down somewhere. All right. We had Britta's Werewolf Chow, Fruit Loops, Cherry, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. This was very, very nice. It was very much a creamy cherry along with a, you could tell there was, it was a cereal blend problem with this one is it really petered out fast and I don't know if it's the cherry oil well because actually both of them it was funny because even James said yeah that was good that was a cereal scent he normally doesn't really like cherry but he liked this one but he agreed he said well yeah it really died down fast didn't it so I would get this one again but it might be my warmers that's like kicking off the scent too fast because they're super hot but it was good we had pistachio pudding cake, espresso, and sweet cream, along with pistachio pudding cake and what the carb from the melted mousse. I will tell you that I had a part of this in my office here. I loved this in here. I would probably put this on my list for her customs. 
and maybe even do it in this office because it just blew my socks off. Now, I'm gonna say probably four hours was what it lasted. Her wax is, is very soft and my warmers, as you know, are relatively hot, but I was just in pistachio pudding cake heaven while this was going. This one was a little bit lighter, I will say, and I think I was spoiled because I was in here working and it was so good that when I went out into the living room, I didn't notice it as much so, you know, I think I have her pistachio pudding cake by itself or I need to get it and try it because, you know, I just wonder if the, like the sweet cream kind of toned it down a little bit and the coffee. So I want to try this from L3, but yeah, this was amazing and it's going on the customs list. So. Dogs are barking outside. I've got windows open because it's actually somewhat nice out today, so... We have to take it when it when we have it in the spring here in Michigan. Okay, so this one I remember differently when I purchased it before. So I don't know if my, you know, because our sense, senses change a little bit in terms of our preferences maybe for scents. So this was from Perkins, Perkins Melts Company, Cobbler Meats Bread Pudding. So it's oatmeal, milk, and honey, blueberry cobbler, and whole wheat bread. Whoops, I lost one. I'll get it later. But... I don't know. This seemed a lot more bready to me. And it seemed like it struggled. Like, I remember it being like a really, really nice blueberry bread scent to me in the past. It was incredible. It was so strong and lasted a really long time. That's what I remember. I feel like the blueberry really struggled on this one. I feel like I got a lot of yeasty, bready scent from this. And every once in a while, I would get like whiffs of the blueberry. And I was like, oh, it's so good. So there was like that, <laughs> you had moments of it coming out and I remembered how good it was and how much I just enjoyed it, but it just wasn't the same. And I don't know if maybe she changed her oil or changed the ratios because I, you know, I purchased this a while ago the first time and then reordered. So I'm not sure, but I was kind of bummed because I remembered it being better, but you know, this is still a nice scent. And if you like a yeasty, bready, like blueberry scent, you should probably check her out. It was good and it lasts a long time. All right, what am I doing here? <laughs> All right, the next one here is from Super Tarts. It's Frankenstein. It's coffee, pumpkin pie, and vanilla wafers. I was just telling some of my wax friends, I don't know, I don't, I know, sacrilegious, but I'm not sure her coffee scents are my favorite or maybe I just haven't found the right coffee scent. But I like a lot of her other wax, so maybe it's just coffee and I prefer it from other people, and that's okay. This one, I don't know. It I feel like the coffee are too diluted for me, and I want a little bit stronger of that coffee note. I don't know what it is, but I, you know, and I have some coffee. We're going to work our way through it from Super Tarts, but yeah, I would not get this again. I mean, I got the pumpkin pie, yeah, a little bit of pumpkin pie spice in with coffee, but maybe it's the vanilla wafers, I'm not sure, but wasn't my favorite. We had a tiramisu espresso cherry almond sugar cookie dough from L3. This was nice, but it didn't last particularly long in here. It was okay, but this one was a little bit, I was surprised, a little bit on the lighter side, and you guys know there's so many coffee scents that I love from L3 that I'm okay with it. I'm glad I tried it, but not a repurchase. We have Goose Creek Love You Latte. So I had two of these. These were nice and green. This is more of a creamy coffee scent. It was nice, actually. Yeah, this was a nice scent. I have a few more of these, and I will really enjoy them. I think, you know, I know that what these end up being is more of a creamy, sweet kind of coffee. So if I'm really looking for something super strong and more of a bitter coffee, I wouldn't pick these for the day. But yeah, these are nice, and I'm glad I have a few more of them. Okay, so I did melt these guava lime from Mainstays. So these are smaller. They're the 1.25 ounces. I used two clams of these. Oh my gosh, if it's two clams, I drop it. <laughs> it's just going to end up on the floor. So I got these, these were like on a clearance blot sale, 10 cents a piece. So I got like the whole sleeve of them and have been using them, mixing them in here and there. So yeah, this was very, very nice. I really enjoyed it. It was fresh and fun. I think this is gonna be great for the spring and summer. I have a few more left for sure. I know I gave my son's girlfriend some and you know, I've just been using it up. So 
it's nice and you can still get it if you go to Walmart. I saw them the other day, so they've come back with it this year if you're interested in trying them. I think they're a dollar now, but yeah, maybe wait till they clearance them out for the spring. You just never know. <laughs> I picked these up from Country Candle, which is Kringle, this blueberry French toast on Melanie's recommendation, Mr. Kong's mom. I actually was a little concerned about this one in the clamshell. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. This actually ended up being more of what I wanted that other blueberry scent to be. It was much more of a blueberry bread. I don't know how much I would say. If I didn't know it was called blueberry French toast, I probably wouldn't have thought that. It, it smells more like a blueberry bread that you can buy or bake. This is really, really nice. Petered out again. I mean, it didn't have super strong lasting power, probably four hours, but it was really nice. I would get this. I would definitely get this again in the wax melts for sure. All right, I used one of these. I should have put this in the bedroom pile, but I used this in my bedroom because it's so strong. And I just thought, I was really in the mood for this scent and I thought, let's just put it in the bedroom. So I had this in like late afternoon and kept it in all night long. Overnight, the Sensationals Rock Candy. Can't get it here anymore. It does say made in the US, but it was like a, it's their version of Bring Back My Bar. <laughs> it was a blast from the past. And this is so good. This is so strong. So Canada... I think has, I can never remember. But anyway, it was available in Canada. We had it for a short time. I hope they put it back on the Sensationals website so you can order it. I have quite a bit of stock thanks to Mel now. But yeah, I love this and I was so happy that she sent me some so I could enjoy that. James melted this Tuscany candle, peach, prosecco, passion fruit, and peach. It's a soy blend. It's very, very soft wax. Doesn't last particularly long, but he put it in his bathroom and really enjoyed it. So it's a nice peach, no cat pee peach. It's very, very nice. So it's kind of almost fizzy, bubbly peach. So yeah, check this out if you can find it. I think it's part of their regular lineup, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think that it's just like a, like a spring, summer release or something like that. So check it out. I did see this in my stores the other day. I purchased these quite a bit when they clearance them at Walmart. This is something that is a staple for me for the summer. I love it. It's Sensational's Coconut Vacay. It's not coconut. This is lime. It's very zippy, zingy lime. Yeah, and you get some coconut in here too. I'm not saying that, but it's it's very lime, especially when you melt it. So it's very, very nice lime coconut. And then I mixed it with this, which it was fabulous. So I bought these, I think I told you. I think they're back at the stores. I wanted to check and I forgot actually, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I saw them just like out of the corner of my eye. Pineapple and vanilla from Better Homes and Gardens. This is the juiciest, freshest pineapple that I have smelled in wax, even vendor wax. It's so nice. I don't know when it warms, it's so good and it's so strong. Makes my mouth water. I love this and the two of them together was great. So I only had, so it was a two to one ratio basically. I only had four cubes of this left and I have four warmers. So I put one in each and then I had two cubes of these in each warmer. It was fabulous. I will do this mixture again. I'm actually really looking forward to doing this again. Yeah, it was great. I needed something, it was very nice and warm and I needed something fun and fruity. Fit the bill 100%. This is another one that, like I said, it was a little bit warmer and I was just feeling some fun fruity mixtures. I'm so glad they brought this back. So I didn't have it in my club. I need to put it in my club because I never want this to go away. This is just so good. Now, I like this a little bit better than the Sensationals, but obviously I can just walk into Walmart and grab those. This is very much a candy, lime, and coconut. It's not a lot of coconut. It's a, it's a lot of lime. It's just so nice. I do not like lime. <laughs> the actual taste of lime but yeah the scent of it oh I just love this so much this is so good it's very strong it's like a zippy fun happy coconut uh, yeah cocoa lime I just love this this was so fun and fruity and was perfect for what I wanted on a nice you know spring day all right we just have a few left and then that will be it we had hound from super tarts this is roasted hazelnuts butter pecan vanilla ice cream and macchiato this was another of the coffee scents what this smells like to me is that they were making you know the baristas were making a drink at starbucks and they forgot the coffee that's what it smells like to me like the the caramel you get the caramel 
you get a ton of cream in here, sugar, and then like some hazelnut flavoring. And, you know, if they didn't forget the coffee, they put like <laughs> just a splash of coffee in there. It, I, I just don't get a lot of coffee in here. It's definitely caramel, like creamy caramel type of a scent. I wouldn't get this again. And again, I don't really know <laughs> what I have in my coffee drawer. I need to check for super tarts, but I should pull them out and just kind of, the dogs are just driving me crazy today, you guys. <laughs> it's like, I swear they bark at air. I don't know what is going on. And I have them so they can't look out the front because people are walking by because it's a nice day. It's like, it's air already. Stop barking. But anyway, back to this. I need to pull out my super tarts and see Maybe just warm it all, you know, the coffee. See if there's anything that I want to repurchase. And if not, that's okay. That's, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, we can't like everything. And gosh, if I liked everything, that would be bad. Because it's already bad enough <laughs> with everything that I like. All right, just a few samples that I did in here. We had Brain Freeze from the ba Bathing Garden. This was a mint scent. It was not my favorite. And it wasn't, I don't know, there's other things in here. I have found that I just really love buttermint scents and, you know, with my favorite is buttermint and birthday cake. So I'm glad I tried it. It was a cute little brain. The shape was amazing. That was the best part <laughs> for me. I was like, this is so cute. But yeah, would not be a mint that I would go out of my way to get. This was Samba from Hayden Rowe. Strawberry Boom Boom Cream Sweet Cream and Vanilla Cake. This was nice, but it did smell like that. It smelled like a strawberry boom boom, but... Again, this one wasn't super, super strong in here. It was okay. I mean, it didn't overwhelm me. But a lot of times her wax is very strong. And that one just didn't perform as well. This was very strong from Hayden Rowe. Apple Barn, crisp apple cider spice, honey, vanilla, and a hint of caramel. Truly, this smelled like a caramel apple scent. And I liked it. I mean, you guys know I'm not buying <laughs> apple scents. I have too many. But if I was, I would buy this. This was actually really nice. It was very strong, did really well in here, and I liked it. I, You know, it says spice, but I really didn't. It was not overpowering spice to where I was going, ooh, it's too much spice for me. So you guys know how sensitive I am. We had Destination Wax. This was a sample, sugared amber and plum, ripe plums, sugared amber, cashmere musk, and a spike of candied citron. To me, this was a, it was definitely plum, I don't know how much I love plum scents. Yeah, it's very much a, yeah, cashmere, amber, and plum. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and it was very much a body care scent. That's what it smelled like. I don't know if this is a Bath and Body Works type of dupe, but that's what it smells like it would be. And not really my thing, but glad I tried it. And then Kiss Me, I'm Irish from the Bathing Garden. I had this in my bathroom. And I will tell you, this was a night... It smelled like it was a fresh scent. Yeah, just kind of a fresh scent. I'm not 100% sure what this was, but it was nice in my bathroom. I enjoyed it. So again, not something that I need to buy tons of, but I enjoyed it and I'm glad that I was able to melt it. I, I definitely put that in on St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, I will tell you that Green Week, what I call Green Week, was a little bit of a struggle for me, I have to tell you, because a lot of the scents that I prefer are not green. <laughs> so some of my favorite, let's say coffee scents or bakery scents, strawberry scents, you know, you have a lot of like the cereal scents. I'm trying to think of all of my different categories that I have, you know, fizzy. <laughs> so it was interesting, I will say. So I think this was a good week to test out some fragrances to see if it's something that I would purchase again. And, you know, I have a few here that I was definitely like, okay, yeah, I will definitely pick this up. I realized, you know, I've been realizing the past few weeks I don't have a ton of pistachio or cherry scents. So I'm trying to work on that a little bit more. But as you guys know, one of the things that I'm really trying to work on this year is focus on the things that I really, truly love. What works for me? What do I love? What do I want to keep in my stash and continue to order and maybe not over order so much but keep the things that I love and melt all of the things I love so let me know in the comment section down below did you participate in green week did you melt out the side of your basket I actually didn't except for that pineapple and cocoa lime I did pull that one out but other than that I did good I, I kept myself to the basket it was tough it was a tough week but let me know how you guys did 
And I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.